Okay, so I'm um, I'm listening to uh, YouTube Shorts. It's either YouTube, I think it's YouTube Shorts. And I've been meaning to make mantras for myself for quite a while. I think I'm also going to make a video about mantras. And somebody came on this, I, I can't look into it while I'm making the video. But somebody came on and he put on a short that says it's a, a 369. I've never seen him before, but he's a self-made millionaire. And... He has a rule, it's, it's, he says it's really simple. It's 369. In the morning, I write down three times as if what I want already exists. I write it down as if it exists. And in the afternoon, I write it six times. And in the evening, I write it nine times. And he said that he would write down all sorts of things. He said, but one of the things that he wrote, one of the things that he was writing is that money comes easily, frequently, and abundantly. You know what I found the other day? I used to have, when I was going through my divorce, I'm pulling out this box of papers that I have because it seems like I saw it in here. I used to have this, um, these mantras that I would say to myself every day. I had them on a piece of paper and I would even walk around with them in my pocket um, so that I would have it with me all the time. Um, so that I would be able to just pull it out and read it all day long. And I think I'm going to go back to that system of having uh, uh, these mantras. And I have put them, uh, I'll show it to you. Oh, here it is. Look. These are my old mantras, right? It, this is a paper that went with me. I put it in a plastic. And as you can see, like, I would scratch things off that, uh, that after a while I would feel that they weren't worded right or they weren't, uh, they weren't uh, exact. And this is from like, I think seven years ago. I quit and, and look, it completely, like I kept, I kept on going and writing in every, every little nook and cranny there's something written. And I knew it pretty much by heart, a lot of it. So one of those, I love my life. And that's something I just wrote down on this when, when he was talking about those, writing down, see, I love my life. It was something I wrote here three times. I love my life. I believe in myself immensely. I see, these are mantras that I was telling myself, like affirmations that I was telling myself daily, day in and day out, actually. And I feel like maybe this is something that might help me now. Maybe I'll even make a video of mantras that, um, of, uh, of affirmations so that other people can listen to them as well. Um, one of the affirmations that I have up on my wall is, I am so happy and grateful now that I have multiple sources of income. And I do. I have multiple sources of income. I sell on Amazon. I paint. I uh, sell in the, in the stores, um, the tourist shops. I sell some of my products. I sell on Etsy. And sometimes I do like odd jobs for painting and things like that. So I do have multiple sources of income. Um, just not enough income right now. So that's something that I don't need to be saying. I need to say I have multiple sources of income and money comes to me easily and in fluency. What was that? What was uh, the, the guy that I was listening to? The guy that does the 369 rule he said, write it down three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon and nine times at night. And then at night you read it before you go to bed. That way, when you go into your sleep mode, you have all of these things that you want fresh on top of your mind. And I think it's really, it's like a focus thing, which is a good thing for me to have now. I need some focus games, some games that take my mind and that I can really play with and focus on and, and make them come to be, to take my mind off this twin flame thingy. So one of the things I wrote here is I love my life, and I wrote it three times. And what he wrote, what he said is, Money comes easily, frequently, and abundantly. And he also said, I am a millionaire. So what I wrote is, I am a millionaire and I choose my life. So I'm, I'm going, I, I, need to, I need to fix it up a little bit. Um, but also, I have abundance of love and money in my life, which is something that, an abundance of love and money. And I need to put in here, I have a loving, beautiful relationship. These mantras, actually, I started saying them, and I did find a really good partner. I had, a, after my divorce, my first boyfriend, after I divorced, we did so much work together. He was, he is a, a beautiful human being, um, and we're still friends. So the one thing, the, the, the affirmation that I have up on the wall that I put up, I also got from somebody off, off online, 
I am so happy and grateful now that I have multiple sources of income. I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources. So I like that. I'm going to read a few off of this just to show you like kind of what it is. There are staggering opportunities everywhere. So it's, it's like programming your mind to believe these things. And it's true. There's staggering opportunities everywhere. Um, people, animals, and opportunities are drawn to me. I like these. I am on the same level as everyone else. I have access to all of the universe, including love, happiness, all and all materialistic things, all natural things, peace, harmony. I also have the knowledge and capability to get all and anything that I desire. I like it. I am whole and love myself. I enjoy raising my children. I know why I put that one in there. I am not afraid of anything. I am a millionaire and money is everywhere. <laughs> I am fearless. See that I would, I would put, I would change it from fearless to brave. I am brave. Actually, I, I'm going to go ahead and change it now. See this piece of paper is like falling apart. I am brave. So the, 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 the thing about saying affirmations is really it's like programming your mind. Your mind doesn't know the difference between reality and, and thought. Because if you think about it, you're just a big bag of meat, right? The, all of your life takes place in your mind. It doesn't take place anywhere else. So everything that you are is your imagination. You imagine it, and so it is true. Um, that's all it is. You can say, no, but the, the circumstances are this or that or whatever. But those circumstances came to be because of how you believe, because of your belief system, right? So if you can take, if you can conceive of what you want to be or how you want things to be or what you want to believe for yourself or about yourself, and you tell yourself that story every single day, it becomes your truth. Your mind is like programmed. You think about it, and, and, but every day you have to think about it. And listen, there's, there's also an element of fake it till you make it. When I first went to therapy, um, first went to therapy for my alcoholism, um, my therapist told me, why don't you look in the mirror and tell yourself that you love you, yourself. Say, I love you to yourself. And it's kind of corny. It's still kind of corny, but I can do it. I can do it easy. But back then it was like, Ugh, stand in front of the mirror and say, I love you to myself. It sounded like, look, like so corny. And, and she told me, if you don't feel like you can do it, you don't have to do it. But it's like reprogramming your mind. It's looking at yourself and telling yourself that you love yourself. And if you do it over and over and over, you will believe it in the end. So it's kind of like fake it till you make it. And with these affirmations, I know for me that these affirmations helped me a lot when I was going through my uh, divorce. And there's all sorts of things in here. Let me think. My thoughts have power in them. Everything has purpose. I'm just reading randomly. I don't gossip about anyone. I, I, can just, I can just mark that one right off because I have no pull to gossip about anybody anymore at all. When, when you become strong in yourself, there's no need of gossip. Gossip is cheap. Gossip is boring too. Like, why would I waste my time gossiping about somebody? If I'm talking about something and there's a lesson in it and somebody else is in that comfort, like uh, uh, subject of that conversation, like I talk about my twin here, it's not gossiping. It's not saying, oh, he did this and he, you know, it's not blaming or putting any kind of, it's talking about what happened and what the lesson is or what in, in, um, and also about my parents or anybody else that I talk about here, I talk about in um, correspondence with what's going on with me. And so it's not gossiping. It's more like telling the story of what was and why I feel like I do or how I feel or any of those things. I talk about my twin and I feel this like, like a little ball of pain. It's like, it's like a bubble that comes up with and it like bursts. Um, but I'm just going to allow those bubbles to come up. I'm just gonna, I'm, I feel like I just, I just did like this release. I, and when I did the release, I could feel how tight I was holding. 
Let me see. Here I have I have I have ten products in ten stores. That's so funny because that's before I even opened up my Amazon. So it was I had the the and I have way more than ten products on Amazon, but I don't have them in ten stores. I am rich and blessed. My thoughts have power in them. I always do what I love and have fun. Um, I always do what needs to be done immediately. I trust the universe to provide for me. What I put out is what comes back to me. Let's see what else I have here. Opportunities come to me. I have unlimited power at my disposal. What I put in my focus, what I put in my focus comes to be. I have clarity. I can change my beliefs with repetition. That's just what I was talking about. I am successful. I inspire people. I own my house outright. That I don't. Uh, I am an excellent motivational speaker. I connect with my audience. Well, that tells me what I wanted to do. <laughs> Is it not, <laughs> not what I'm doing? <laughs> Except for that, I'm a cry ball. I know the law of attraction inside and out. Um, I make 40,000 shekels a month. That's a good one. I trust the universe to provide for me. Life is an adventure. Let's see what else? I am happy. I am healthy. I am outgoing. I love my life. I have someone that cleans my house. I like that one. I believe in myself immensely. I am not shy. That, that I should just mark right off and put I am outgoing and I speak my mind. I'm going to mark that. I'm going to do that now. Because I am shy is like negative. I am outgoing and I speak my mind. I am outgoing and I speak my mind. See, aren't these things important? This is what I'm doing instead of working and making money, right? Today, I don't think I've done anything to make any kind of money. I fixed my fridge. Well, I got, uh, I had a technician over. I went to that spring to chase my twin and I did all the dishes. I folded some clothes. I washed and hung a load of laundry. Um, I actually sat down and started going over my Amazon to see what I need to send off. So I'm, my mind is, I'm an, in a mindset. I did a couple of videos. And this is like my third video. Um, so I, I'm always doing stuff, but... But I do want to say that I did have a good day yesterday in Amazon, and I'm going to paint at my parents' house, which is another source of income. So, And my daughter is uh, going over my book again, and my book is ready. I finished the cover yesterday, finished designing the cover all the way. I'm really excited about it. It looks good. And my daughter is going over the text again to make sure, you know, she, she's super smart, super genius smart. Um... So, so she is going to go over it again and, um, and then I'm going to try to get it out published today, hopefully. Okay. Let's see what else, uh, I have here. Uh, I am whole and love myself. I enjoy raising my children. I am smart and always expanding. I can live where I choose. I have a loving relationship. I should say romantic relationship in that. A loving romantic relationship because that's what I meant. I have a loving romantic relationship. I always have money for everything that I want. I am connected to the river of knowledge. I am rich and blessed. My thoughts have power in them. Everything has purpose. I always do what I love and have fun. I like these. I'm going to rewrite all these. Maybe I'll do maybe I'll do a video with all of these and I'll add in new ones that I have. I inspire people. I own my house. Um, I know the law of attraction. I do not gossip. I trust the universe to provide for me. I am happy. I am healthy. I am outgoing. I believe in myself immensely. I like that. And I like that that is like, right at the top of my list. Okay, so with having said all that, that is pretty much what I wanted to do this uh, recording about, about affirmations and, and the power that there is in affirmations and telling yourself um, 
telling yourself who you are and who you want to be and how we can reprogram our own minds into believing what we want. So I'm going to put in that I am strong and I am worthy of a loving relationship of somebody that loves me as much as I love them and that wants to be with me and seeks out being with me. And maybe that will start shifting this uh, twin flame uh, thing. It will start uh, empowering me in it and empowering what I want in it and bringing what I want into my own focus so that I'm not constantly feeling like chasing. Because if I program myself in a way that I know how, how what I want and how I want it, then, oh, and there's another video that I, that I there's, there's also this Indian guy, I, I don't know his name, Dupak or something like that, and I was listening to one of his shorts this morning, and see, well, I'm also enlightening myself and bringing myself out of the hole, so I think that's also important. That's at least as important as getting work done. I mean, what is sitting down and doing a whole bunch of work if I'm miserable and crying and the work doesn't come out like it should? So he said that there are questions that we ask ourselves. He said that the subconscious, we shouldn't call it subconscious, we should call it like a superconscious. See, I also folded some of my couch boutique over there. See some of the fold, <laughs> my couch boutique. Um, so he said that we need to ask ourselves questions because our subconscious, when we start asking ourselves questions and really getting into the questions that we want to know about ourselves, then our subconscious starts looking for the answers. And these answers will come to us either by inspiration or through creativity or through people be, uh, and we'll start noticing the answers. Maybe the answers were always there, but we didn't ask the questions. So we didn't even realize that we were asking. So the, the a list of questions that he put uh, to ask ourselves, and he said, especially even before we go to sleep, ask ourselves these questions. That way, when we go into the sleep mode, it's going into our subconscious. And then our subconscious is way more aware than we are. We are like this little tiny, tiny percentage of ourselves. Our subconscious is way bigger than our awareness. And so if we ask ourselves at night, who am I? What do I want? What is my purpose? What do I want to contribute? What kind of friendships do I want to have? What kind of unique skills and habits do I have? And once we are able to ask ourselves these questions, then it is much easier for the universe to know uh, to what, what answers to give us and to allow us to find the answers to these most important questions because these are the questions of our life, right? Not uh, how much money can I make? What do I need to shop for? What do I buy? The questions, uh, these are the big questions of life. These are the questions that bring you um, happiness and the feeling of fulfillment and, uh, and emotional peace and um, accomplishment. Um, so I feel that bubble of pain coming back up. I feel like I've been talking, 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 and I'm tense again. It's just like, there it goes. I still have the bubble coming up. The, this bubble's turning into tears, so I'm going to have to. Disperse it. <laughs> Thank you guys for being with me and, 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 um, and commenting and, and giving me strength and encouragement and, um, even just being with me, I can feel the presence. I can feel the presence. So I really do appreciate it. Thank you.